This episode is sponsored by 80,000 Hours, a nonprofit that aims to help people choose careers that have a positive impact. Head to 80,000hours.org slash healthcare triage to start planning a career that can help solve some of the world's most pressing problems. Cancer is a tricky beast, and while we found ways to beat it back, we generally find some things that work for some people, but not for others. So a trial where remission is achieved in every patient is almost unheard of until now. That's the topic of this week's healthcare triage. This trial was a phase two study examining the effects of a drug called a checkpoint inhibitor on locally advanced rectal cancer in patients with mismatch repair deficiency, which basically means their cells aren't as good at repairing mistakes in DNA, which puts them at higher risk for cancer. Checkpoint inhibitors are often used in cancer treatment because they essentially rev up immune cells so they're better able to recognize and fight cancer cells. We've known for a few years that these may be useful for cancer patients with mismatch repair deficiency, which make up between 5 and 10% of rectal cancer patients, but they haven't been used in patients whose tumors haven't yet spread until this trial. The sample size was pretty small, just 12 people according to the published paper, but all of them went into remission. After at least six months of follow-up, tumors couldn't be detected via MRI, PET scan, endoscopic evaluation, digital rectal examination, or biopsy. That's unbelievable. Normally, this type of cancer is treated with radiation, chemotherapy, and surgery. In fact, these patients were all scheduled for this standard of care treatment, but didn't have to do it because the medication worked so well. Being able to achieve remission without enduring all of those other treatments is a big deal. The effects of the surgery can be drastic, and that along with chemo and radiation can have long-lasting, life-altering effects. What's even more impressive is that trial participants didn't experience any major side effects. Side effects are generally expected in a subset of patients who take checkpoint inhibitors, so this was a surprising outcome. It's possible that side effects will emerge in larger trials, though, so we'll have to wait and see if that holds. We should be clear that we can't say the patients have been cured. We haven't had enough follow-up time, and we certainly don't have enough patients or enough data to call this a wrap. We'll need much longer follow-up periods and trials with a lot more people that replicate these results. But still, it's nice to take a moment and celebrate a potentially exciting move forward against a very difficult disease. Thanks to 80,000 Hours for sponsoring this week's episode. 80,000 Hours is a nonprofit that aims to help people have a positive impact with their career. There are many, many career paths that can be fulfilling, rewarding, and can also do good in the world. 80,000 Hours has done 10 years of research into the most impactful careers, and they have resources available to help you choose a path that'll do good in the world. They offer an eight-week career planning course, job boards, free one-on-one -on -one calls with career advisors, a podcast, and many other resources. All of 80,000 Hours provided resources are free, and their only aim is to help you find a fulfilling, high-impact career. Click the link at the description or go to 80,000hours.org slash healthcare triage to get a free copy of their in-depth career guide. This will also sign you up to their newsletter, where they send updates on their research and job opportunities. Hey, did you enjoy this episode? You might enjoy this previous episode on You Can Do A Lot To Prevent Some Cancers. We'd also appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe down below and go to patreon.com slash healthcare triage where you can help make the show bigger and better. We'd like to especially thank our research associates, James Glasgow, Joe Sevitz, Edward Lillahome, and Brian Nam, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral, Sam. <laughs>